beautiful people. Let me tell you guys, right? And then listen, it is quarter two weekend. The last time I saw you guys was on Monday, and so much has happened this week, you guys. News is just got. Let's unpack all of this tonight on News. Let's get a tour, baby. Man, King Monada, Limpopoki Country, Mr. Skapora Mureki was punching people go kicking this weekend. Eh, uh, Eman Luna. Okay, wait. Let me put the story properly. If you can see in the video, Gary, somebody was grabbing his mic from him. All I can say, Hurhuna is pity, pity, modi kicking because so much has been happening. What do you guys think? Is it justified that he punched? or threw hands at the fan for trying to grab the mic. Why on earth was the fan trying to grab the mic? Please let us know what you guys think. And in other news of this pity pities of the geeky. Okay, it seems like the case has been cracked. Remember, earlier on this week, we spoke about the fact that Oscar Mbo removed Makazi from stage. Last week, he removed Karishma from stage, and then Wanabatu was crying afterwards. Well, the stage manager went onto a podcast and basically told us, Oscar Mbo, MBO, was supposed to get the at 2 o'clock. He arrived at 3 o'clock when Karishma was getting on. So basically, the case that we were trying to crack is that Mr. Fuluwa was just late. Oh, what? I Aniko show. Aniko show Mara, something fishy is going on over here. For the fact that he even went live and all of that. Guys, come on, just uh, set your alarms, hey? <laughs> okay, another piano artist that is making us laugh, but at least on a much lighter note. Varikilimeke! Okay, so in a video of it, looked like he was at home with his friends, you know, at the pool. My brother is telling us for a way to see Luna. Basically, talking about the fact that guys need to be ready with their summer bodies. They need that thing. Baby, son, give me light. Hey! I hear him. He's on to something. Uh, my gents, please sort out the V lines for the summer. As funubwana ama. We are barely. We don't want to see the puzzas. Uh, Sisu assembly. Hi, Limeke. All I'm going to say is that I totally agree with you. Who's Java, guys? Always makes tweets that make us think. And he did another one this time. Atiana, who's Java? You know what? Artists have too much access to reading comments about themselves from their fans, and they just engage too much with their fans. Now, I get what he was saying. The fact that there's too much access to hearing what people have to say about you live while it's happening, while you're in the creative process, it could be stifling to some artists. Or the fact that artists are coming back and also throwing hands back, as we saw in the case of King Monada. Let us know what you guys think about artists having this access and there being such an open dialogue. Because, I mean, artists have gotten a gained huge success from things like this but also is it a bit detrimental to our actual artists to their well-being to their mental health let us know what you guys think i feel like this is a topic that we can really talk about and unpack now if you guys are excited for the weekend just like i am make sure that you guys check out the spring experience that is going to be happening. I'm talking Ringo is going to be there. Murder is going to be there. DJ Zindle is going to be there. Our favorite Zulu man's Java is going to be there. All of this is happening on the 26th of October. Make sure that you guys go check out the tickets. Get yourself some to have, you know, a good, good time. But that's enough of me yapping. Let's check out the hottest for me. On the next episode of Baddies of the Dark, we've got Katla Khopiri. So I want you to tell me, what makes a baddie? Have a career. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also, just be hot while you're doing it. If you had to commit a crime with no punishment, what would it be? Is it a crime? That's not a crime, girl, but okay, it's fine. If you had an unlimited supply of anything, what would it be? She's a baddie of the dark. of the week if you had to commit a crime what would it be <laughs> bye guys it's been awesome hanging out with you guys i'm gonna see you on the flip side <laughs>